plus out of here. I wanted to talk with you a little bit about uh, just standard window cleaning procedure and tools. Uh, first, you're going to need a T-bar and a washer sleeve. Uh, this is a really cool washer sleeve, made by Mormon. It uh, holds, holds up really, really well. You'll need one of these or something like it. Uh, when you wash these in your washing machine, make sure you, uh, whenever you're done, that you just hang them out to dry. Don't put them in your dryer and they'll stay nice. Uh, this has been washed many, many times. The Velcro is still very, very good. As you can see, still very, very nice. Um, so that's that. Also, you're gonna need a pretty good standard squeegee if you're gonna be doing regular storefront cleanings. Uh, this is a uh, this is a legend channel with a unger handle. Uh, you don't necessarily have to use an unger handle, it's just one I just happen to have. And don't necessarily need a legend channel, you can use any channel. But today we're just talking about standard operations. So uh, this is something that I use pretty much on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm using a little bit of wagtail rubber in here. Uh, Sins last a little bit longer. You can use whatever rubber you like. What kind do I use? Well, I kind of lean towards more of a hard rubber. Uh, they last a little longer for me. Anyway, uh, I, right here, I've got a bucket on a belt. Uh, this will actually keep my applicator from leaking all over the floor. Uh, if I go into a, to a business or a home, um, gotta have a extension pole. When, hard to reach places. Uh, this is about a, I guess about an eight foot pole, four feet to eight feet, and works for most regular stuff. Um, over here, I've got a belt right here. Actually, this whole thing is a belt, but this is a uh, little pouch thing that I have, and I keep all my stuff in it, keep a little extra soap, uh, keep a little spray away uh, for some hard fingerprints. And uh, over here, I've got uh, some rags. Uh, these are just microfiber towels. I keep these uh, to mop up uh, floors and sills and things like that. Uh, gotta have uh, a nice hook towel so you can uh, clean up some drips and things. And uh, I don't necessarily wipe sills with these because they're a lot nicer than the other ones. Uh, but that's that. Um, also, I keep a little detail squeegee on me. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm wearing suspenders because I don't like my belt to come down on me when I'm working. Uh, keeps my butt crack from showing, <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> uh, but, uh, I know this turned into a standard, was a standard video for some other things and I kind of showed you my belt. Uh, but uh, keep a scraper, gonna need one of those. Uh, this is Andre scraper, very, very nice. Uh, keep that. Never know when you're gonna need to scrape up a little tape or some bird poop or anything like that. But uh, let's get started. Put the T-bar inside the washer sleeve. Uh, there's probably a better way to do this, but I've got gloves on. And I'm fumbling around. Okay, it's got a little elastic piece in there. I'm gonna put it over your T-bar and latch it down like that. Oh, one more thing you're gonna need to do this. You're going to need a bucket. If you're going to be doing a lot of storefronts or any work in general, you're going to need a bucket. This one happens to be nice, has a lid. Uh, I prefer that the way it doesn't slosh around in my vehicle or uh, if I'm going to tote water, it won't slosh all over my leg. So that's that. All right, so we got the, the washer on the T-bar here. Uh, put some soap on it. And my bucket. Don't need a whole lot. It's the more soap you have, the harder it's going to take to get off or water, whatever. Uh, and you make sure you put it on there real good. Scrub, scrub, scrub. I've kind of already wet this one, so I don't have to do that. But uh, stick it there in my boat. Bow up. And uh, I'm going to do straight pulls today. Because uh, that's what you pretty much have to do with this channel. Start at the top, and give it a couple tugs, lean to the right, pull down, same thing here. Go at the top, give it a couple tugs, pull down. I, I do this all day long, so I 
know what, what works and what doesn't work. And if you look up there at the top, there's no water. No water at the top. Now I'll do a, a basic clean here for you too. You're gonna get this all soaked up. This soap actually helps the, the rubber. Uh, there is less friction uh, because it's extra slick. And that's what makes the, the, the rubber work itself. This window could be cleaned with regular water, but when you put this rubber on the glass, it's just wet with water. It's gonna make one heck of a noise. Plus, it's just not gonna, just not gonna be beneficial. Uh, there's a whole lot of things taking place. This, this also helps get all the funk that's on this glass off. So, here's a basic straight pull. I lean to my right. And I close out with that. Do it again. Lean to the right. Now, if you can see right here on this side, I'm actually pulling my channel up to the glass like that. Then I'm bringing it to the right. And I'm pulling it. These are what you call straight pulls. Again. And then, oh, I, you know, I can do this one or two ways. I can pull it like that. And if you do it enough, <laughs> like I do, uh, you'll know just by it, it'll stop pulling out any soap along the edge and you can see right there there's no no water no water along the edge all right you get this up off here there's so many different ways to do this this is pretty pretty basic foolproof way of cleaning the window now this may be a little bit more advanced this is this is a little bit more advanced technique but what I'm about to show you. Make sure it's all soaked down, get all the funky funky stuff off of it. All right, so doing the thing, same thing I just showed you, I come in like this, pull to the right, stop right there, and come down. Just, you just, want, just follow it through, just watch. Just pull it around, pull and squeegee around. Now you're just taking off little pieces at a time, taking off pieces of the mountain, if you will, and close out on the bottom. Very, very, very easy stuff to do. Straight pulls are very basic, like I just showed you. Straight pull, straight pull, straight pull, straight pull. And this other, other madness is something that you you know, it takes a little skill to do, but you get it over time. Now, on these window sills, there's a couple of ways of handling that. I use my detailing squeegee because I could just take this water straight off. It keeps me from having to waste rags. I don't like toting around wet, wet rags all day. See, no water on there. Here's the other way. There's water all over that, water not on that. You just take this microfiber cloth Put a finger in it. White. And it's just as clean and dry as that one. The only difference is now I got a wet rag. Hey guys, I hope you liked the video that I put together for you. Um, so I got some of the tools that I used listed in the links below. Um, also, please go like and subscribe uh, to my channel and to Window Cleaning Resource and hit the notification bell so you can uh, get all the great content that I have to offer and more. Thanks for watching.